Hello everyone, it's me, Steph, and I think David's rolling over here. Um, it is Sunday and that means it's time for a little sweet tea Sunday where we kind of are using our sweet tea for the soul book to kind of talk about different subjects. So this past week, um, we has been tough. Uh, full transparency always with you guys. Uh, life is not always smiles and laughs. Sometimes we struggle too. Uh, we actually lost one of my aunts um, this past week, and uh, she was a sweet lady and really made me feel like part of her family uh, when I was very young. Um, so that kind of brings me to our subject of this week, and that's comfort. Um, I'm going to read the little expert, ex excerpt, um, and it's about they that mourn. In the Old South, mourning used to be a big deal. No decent southerner will be sent to the hereafter without a lengthy ceremony and even more extended period of mourning. Women wore black hats and dresses, swishing the sweltering air with hand-held funeral fans. Men wore black suits and ties. A black wreath was hung on the door of the bereaved family's home, and all the mirrors were covered in black cray. Most importantly, folks respected the privacy of families who had suffered loss. Like almost every aspect of modern life, however, send-offs these days are often short and sweet. Friends and family come by to offer covered dishes and sympathy, and those who mourn are expected to bounce back and get on with life, whether they're ready to or not. <clears throat> Jesus understood that a broken heart isn't e as easy to heal. And he said in Matthew 5, 5, 4, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. comforted. Um, it is okay to be sad. It's okay to live in your sadness when you need to. Um, and it's okay to mourn. And I think sometimes our society has pushed us to the point where we just have to get back to work. We just have to get back to normal and we actually don't give ourselves enough time to live in that grief um, and and work your way through it. You, you can never replace someone that you've lost in your life. And um, I understand that so much better than many people even know. Um, but the, the thing is, is you have to remember those moments of happiness when the grief gets so so hard to handle. Um, I, I think this actually, it's amazing sometimes how things just come into your life. I opened the page to the book today and this is what was there. Um, how sometimes words that we need to hear are, um, are put right there for us when we need them. And I think that's kind of what this week's uh, excerpt was about. And uh, it kind of made me stop and think. Uh, we weren't able to go back to attend my aunt's funeral um, and I really feel, um, feel sorry about that. Um, but unfortunately with COVID and schedules, it just wasn't possible. But that doesn't mean that I have to just go back to work and forget about all the memories we had and, um, blessing my cousins and praying for them, um, during this really hard time. Um, is there anything you wanted to add? No, it's just, it's just interesting that all that stuff happens and <clears throat> you open the book to the chapter you're going to read today and that just happens to be the the chapter yeah it, it's uh, it's you know i i have always believed that there is something bigger out there i don't know what you believe in and your individual beliefs and we have so many different uh people in our lives that believe different things and regardless of what it is a greater power a cosmic whatever or or if it is a a, ba a faith-based religion i do believe that things are always put into our life at the exact moment when we need them and i think today um that was put for david and i right when we needed it um so i hope that you enjoyed your little sweet tea sunday and we look forward to talking to you guys again next sunday have a great night you guys we'll see you real soon bye bye